Hello students. In the last video we looked at finding the perimeter of shapes that consisted of straight lines. Now the one shape that doesn't have any straight lines um, in its edge is of course the circle. So we need a special formula for that. So before we go ahead and find the perimeter of circles, let's just have a look at a very special number called pi. Now first off, let's have a quick look at some, some of the terminology related to circles. This again is just a quick review. The distance around the outside of a circle is called its circumference. And of course, every circle has a center and all the points on a circle are the same distance away from the center. A line that passes through the center is called a diameter. A line from the center out to the circumference is called a radius. And for that matter, if we had a small part of the circle, oops, that's not very neat. I might not try to draw it, but a small part of the circumference is called an arc. Okay, let's move on from that. Now, pi is a very special number, and it turns out it's just the ratio between the distance around a circle, such as the top of this can, divided by the uh, diameter of the circle. So the circumference is the distance around, the diameter is the distance across. So if you got out a bit of string, got a can from the, the cupboard, got out a piece of string, you could measure the distance around with the string, hold it up to a ruler, and that gives you the length of the circumference. Then you just hold your ruler across the top of the can and that gives you the diameter. And it turns out when you divide the circumference by the diameter, in every case, you get the same number if you measure perfectly accurately. In practice, of course, you can't measure perfectly accurately, so we'll give, have to give you an approximate answer. So the circumference of any circle divided by its diameter is about three. In fact, it's a bit more than three. It's about 3.1. And that's about as accurately as you can get your answer by measuring. There are other ways of calculating pi and it turns out that pi goes on forever and there's no patent to the digits. So to five decimal places, pi is 3.14159. If you want more decimal places than that, well, here is pi written out to 2,198 decimal places. So 3.14159265358.9, etc. And even that's not the end of it. You can actually write pi out to as many decimal places as you wish. And I think the current record is pi has been calculated out to 6 trillion decimal places. And the interesting thing about it is there's no patent to the digits. So here we have pi to 2,198 decimal places. And I can't use those numbers there to work out what the 2,199th decimal place is. So there's no pattern to the digits, except for the fact that they're the di digits of pi, and therefore you can't figure out what the next digit is without doing a really, really immense calculation to, uh, to get the next decimal place. Okay, and it turns out that we need pi in order to work out the perimeter, or what's called the circumference of circles, and we'll do that in the next video.